Hi friends, welcome back to Art Class with Mr. Poulos. Today we are going to be using shapes to create some creatures. Now, what is a shape? A shape is what you get when you draw a line and you connect it back to itself. Some shapes that you probably know the names of are a square, a circle, a triangle, a rectangle, and I'm sure that you can name some more. Let's get started. All right, I've got my paper and I've got something to draw with. You can always start with a pencil. It makes it easier to fix your mistakes. I like to start with a marker because it's easier to see on your screen. So to create our monster today, we're gonna to draw one together where you copy everything that I do. And what's great is because this is a video, you can pause the video and catch up and then play the video and then pause the video and catch up and then play the video. One quick shortcut for you is if you just press the space bar, which is this big button right here, it should pause the video for you. And if you press it again, it'll start the video. So for the first monster that we make together, let's use a square shape for the body. So on my paper, I'm gonna draw a big square. It's four straight lines. Is mine perfect? Nope. Is yours gonna be perfect? No way, and that's okay. Now for this monster, let's give it some triangle horns. Except I think it needs a lot of horns. And then maybe two big ones on the side. For this monster, let's give it a circle eye. How many eyes though? Hmm, let's try one in the middle. And then, since it's a monster, maybe two more. One, two. One, two, three eyes. That kind of looks like a nose. I think I'm going to draw a long oval mouth. And inside of that long oval mouth, some triangle teeth. Remember, friends, if I am moving fast for you, pause the video. If you don't have the same number of teeth or the same hair, that's okay. Just do your best. For the legs, let's give it two tall, skinny rectangles. And for the feet, some little ovals. Let's do the same thing for the arms. Now it's time to make some claws. And that's pretty cool. We were able to make an awesome monster using our basic shapes. Now, if you want to add some stuff to it, we could add eyelids or eyebrows. You could add polka dots or a tail. That's totally, totally up to you. I'm gonna take a minute and color this to see how it looks. Awesome. There is my shape monster. I've done my very best coloring. And yeah, I made a couple of mistakes where the color went out of the lines, but that's okay. There's no real white space anywhere that I forgot to color. So you should always ask yourself, did I do my best work? And you should look back at it and see if you missed anything. So your monster should look a lot like mine, but maybe it's a little bit different. If you finish early and you still have time, you can take another white paper and you can make a brand new monster that uses your own shapes that you come up with. Maybe you start with a circle or a triangle. Anyway, I'm really excited to see what you guys came up with, and I will talk to you guys next class. Nice job. 